Hey what's up this is Unrivaled Skyrim and before I start the Total War Rome 2 battle replay um, I just want everyone to know um, my viewers and my subscribers to check out my uh, my Twitch page I recently started um, streaming on Twitch about I'd say like a few days ago um, about a week ago I guess I'm already up to 13 followers and I really do appreciate each and every one of them um, I really wanted to get into live stream because I think it really um, gives you an opportunity to interact more with your um, with your subscribers and make new friends. And uh, so far, I'm really loving it. Uh, I've been um, streaming some Xbox One games, and I've been streaming a lot of Total War Rome 2. In fact, I do that almost daily at night. Um, so yeah, let's get into the the match now. Thanks for watching. Alright, let's head straight into the battle. Um, my opponent was Norton AB, and he was playing as Rome, and I was playing as the Epirus faction. And let's go ahead and get started. Um, Norton AB, I'm going to call him Norton. He was a real cool guy. Um, we were really chatting all throughout the this battle and the battle before. Um, Boy, is understood. And um, he, he subscribed to me mid-battle. I really do appreciate that a lot. Um, and through with and in our chat, you know, he's a pretty cool guy. And I pre pretty much enjoy playing him. So let's go ahead and get into um, back into the battle. I am fielding three Rodian slingers with um, a main line of hoplites. I think I have let's see five of those. And I didn't bring pikes or swords, I chose to bring hoplites instead of those other two uh, units. Um, I'm going to play a very defensively, um, I guess more cab oriented and skirmish oriented. But I got these four Agranian Axemen, these guys are pretty pretty good um, Peltus units. Very capable, um, and I think they do wield um, axes and that the, they do have um, weapon um, piercing I think yes see they have 32 weapon damage but I think if you scroll over it yes it's half and half so half of that is um, armor piercing so that goes through the um, the armor rating and um, def I think just the armor rating of units not their defense or... well, let's take a look uh, of the entirety of this battle as you can see, I got my Thessalian supporting the flanks. My general, who is in a Hellenic Royal Guard, is on the right extreme flank. These, this cab used to be just amazing, but you're gonna you're gonna see what happens to it. And yeah, I do have my Thessalians backing up over there, and I have my unit of Aspis companion cab. These guys are hiding in the forest right now. Um, these were the units that Alexander the Great would have used. Advance at speed. For having heavy melee cavalry, uh, let's take a look at his army. He's got, I think, four Praetorian cavs. These are just terrific cavalry. They they will very heavy melee cav. They will tear up shock cav. Come to find out after the new updates, but he he's got four Balearic slingers. I think he's got one two. I think three auxiliary infantry to um, ward off any charges on his um, slingers. Um, before the battle gets, uh, I'm too late anyways. I think he's just got four legionaries and of course he's got his general. And um, now we're start starting the skirmish fight. I know my Balearics will, um, I mean my Rodians will win because um, uh, even though I do, um, he does outnumber me in the skirmishing department, at least the long range skirmishing department. My guys had the, um, the forest to protect them and plus we're at, at, we have a slight high elevation and I think Rodians are actually better than Balearics to, to begin with um, so and plus I was focusing fire I quickly destroyed one of his units and here I'm trying to um, trying to seek an engagement with his cavalry I'm gonna I'm gonna try to shift over this unit of hoplite to assist um, in taking out his Praetorians um, I'm pretty I should have been more scared of these units because, um, come to find out, um, melee cav can tear up shock cavalry after the new, the new patch and updates to this game now. Um, but yeah, I am 
I am slowly but surely winning the skirmish fight. Um, their rocks, most of, a whole lot of them are, you know, he's still doing a lot of damage to my guys, but it's not going to be as much because I do have cover from um, their um, stones. Uh, since they're, they have to fire through the trees in the forest. But here I'm going to get my Aspis companions pretty much closer. Um, I don't think he noticed them. Um, but I'm not quite sure if he did. He has his Praetorians protecting his right flank. And here, you know what? I missed it. Uh, I charged down the hill into his uh, Praetorians. And I even supported my... Um, my Oh my gosh, let's see here, my Helic Royal Guard charged down, um, I even got a unit of Hoplites into his um, Praetorian Cav, and let me see how this, my he my general just dies, he just dies, honestly, I have no idea how this happened, until it was too late during the battle, of course, but yeah, um, yeah, Melee Cav can take out Shock Cav now, like it's no tomorrow, see like, my guys are seriously dying right now. My Thessalians and my Hellenic Royal Guard, or Royal Cav. Hellenic Royal Cav used to be like one of the best cavalry in the game. But now it's just like, oh my god, like... It gets a Praetorian? Don't even think about charging a Praetorian which, uh, with an expensive Hellenic Guard Cav. Just, I just want to see how... Because it was just completely gone before I even knew it. And plus, you know, I, th I think the bonus versus large only applies to when they have their lances out. Not when they have their swords out. And I think it always was like that, but I'm not quite sure. Because Shock Cab, they do receive a bonus versus large. There, you see my general finally bit the dust. But you see, I still have my Hoplites um, cutting into his Praetorians. And, um, yeah, my two units of cavalry are dead on that flank, so it's going to allow me to, um, yeah, I think he tries to counter charge that Praetorian back into this hoplite. Let's take a look. Nice. Awesome action right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, now I know how to move in the zoom in action. Nice. You just hold down the scroll button. There we go. So his Praetorian is destroyed. Um, I don't know if that was a very good engagement on my part. Um, I did lose my general in that engagement. I had no idea that a Hellenic Royal Guard charging downhill and, um, you know, would just, just get just liquidated by Praetorian Cab, but it just seemed like, I don't know, I just threw my general away. I had no idea, but now I know. But let's take a look at what's going on over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I didn't learn my lesson quick enough. Um, uh, Praetorian Cav, if it can take out a Hellenic Royal Cav, then the uh, Thessalian Cav will have no effect. He did use Draco, good for him. Um, well, I think I took this engagement because this is when I charge in with my Aspis companions. Go, go into cinematic action. There we go. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, Aspens, or Aspis companions, they will just tear up pretty much any anything in a prolonged one-on-one -on -one, uh, cab fight pretty much I think even it can even take out a Praetorian cab Praetorian cavalry is pretty pretty um, decent though uh, these guys they, they can get work done but, um, yeah shot cab against a Praetorian cab don't even think about it it's not gonna work but here I did this in this uh, instance because I knew I was gonna be able to um, um, reinforce those units with my hoplites and my Aspis companions. And they only took five casualties, so it's not like, oh man, take a look at that. That guy's about to get stabbed, 10 bucks. Oh no, he's gonna make it. Never mind.
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there you go. Good job, fella. Thank you. So here, he's going to back off from that fight. Um, he lost all his slingers, pretty much. And um, I think I have two left. Yeah, I bring them into the forest over here. So I can get them to flank. Oh, um, and they're wasting ammunition on routing units. That's unfortunate for me. Um, but yeah, now I'm just down to my main hoplite line. But the problem is, hoplites will get torn up by even legion regular legionnaires. Um, problem for him is that um, all the cavalry he has is just his general's bodyguard. And plus I have all these um, skirmishers, all these Hegronian axemen. Who can be capable in a melee fight with their armor-piercing axes? Um, At speed. Oh, I had one more Thessalian cap. Oh yeah, that's right. So here is making a defensive formation. And it's a good good idea for him to go in a force actually, um, because my cavalry will um, be less effective while fighting in a force, and I'm sure my hoplites um, as well. And he will receive a um, um, uh, more cover from missiles in the forest. So good idea for retreating. There's no reason for him to advance um, after losing his um, his Praetorians and his um, Balearic Slingers. That's pretty cool. The Romans are cheering. Oh, oh, we'll give them something to cheer about. We will give them something to cheer about. And here, I tried to get his general with this Aspis companion cab. But you know what, I, 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 even thinking now, I think I should have done this because he had his um, auxiliary infantry right near, and there's just no sense of throwing away this expensive unit, even for his general, but if I lose this unit, I could potentially, uh, it will potentially cost me the whole entire battle. Um, but here you see his, his general is pretty much routing. Um, that Aspis companion is still killing um, his general, even with those um, spear infantry over there. And here, I think I leave my my Thessalian cab. I should have I should have engaged it with that into the Roman general, but um, yeah, Norton did a good thing. He went ahead and attacked that unit that I wasn't really paying attention of. Good idea on him. And plus, he's going to attack these um, hoplites over here that are more isolated. And um, he's going to go ahead and engage my hoplites. I did put them into um, hoplite wall, so their, sh their um, melee defense is going to be um, 86. So they're going to hold off a lot longer than they would have if they weren't in hoplite wall. And here I have my... Um, I have these um, these Agrarian Axemen, and they are discharging their javelins into the backs of these Romans. So they are going to receive a lot of missile fire, and plus I do have my slingers in the back. Um, they're almost out of ammunition, but it's better than nothing. They might as well shoot um, shoot these units from the back. But you know, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get some hits on these um on these Romans. And I think over here, yeah, he destroyed that um that uh, hoplite unit. And with 79 units, it runs away. Very heartbreaking see that. I mean, it's not even halfway depleted and runs away. Gets shattered. No! Uh, these, Understood. Um, so that's going to cause me to break off one of these hoplites, just so I can hold off these two units. Um, my, the main thing I want to do here is to try to defeat these units over here, because I can, um, I can overwhelm them. I just need to prevent uh, him reinforcing his um, for forces over here. And uh, and he does charge into this unit. I get into Hoplite um, uh, last minute, and that's going to allow me to, to discharge my javelins with this Agronian Axeman, and they're just going to rack up the kills um, with these Romans who, uh, whose backs are exposed. Let's go ahead and take a look what's happening in the center. I even threw in my Agronian Axeman because, um, you know, these are very capable melee units as well as um, skirmishers with their armor piercing axes and they have pretty good shield strength as well they have no armor but um, at least bad armor it's better 35 is better than nothing um, but yeah now it's really um, now it's really 
just me trying to route his guys before he routes my uh, heavy infantry. If I lose my heavy in infantry, it's all over. Um, so he's just trying to um, he's just trying to push forward to take out my hoplites. There he took out that one. Um, but that one, he, it did pretty good. It took out some Praetorians and held some units for me. It did its, um, it did its job, pretty much. So here, seeing that he is um, flanking this unit of Hoplite, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it with this one. This one's relatively fresh. These guys are tired, and uh, I do have this unit in Hoplite wall, so its defense is going to be pretty good. And, um, and I still have my Javelins hitting these Legionnaires. Let's take a look. Cinematic mode. Oh, that's a screenshot right there. Awesome. Yeah, in the background, I have my have my Aspis companions. They, they don't have a uh, that that good of a um, a charge bonus or whatever, but it'll still be good enough to break up the Romans who are attacking my hoplites. And um, yeah, he's trying to ward them off with his um, auxiliary infantry, but he finally like uh, he finally committed them in the center, and that allowed me to get some pretty good rear charges. But here the battle's pretty much over. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just watching this awesomeness. Yeah, look at that guy. Uh, let's take a look at the statistics real quick. Yeah, I had pretty much like, let's see, 40... 70 more units than him, so we had pretty much the same army um, size. Um, you see this Aspis Companion Cav, I think it paid for itself, but as for the rest of my cavalry, not really, because they had to go up against these tough, tough Praetorian Cav. This one got 90 kills. Um, I don't know, man. Just don't go, just don't attack a Praetorian Cav with, um, with plain old Thess Thessalian Cav, and even a Hellenic Royal Cav. This... A Hellenic Royal Cav used to be one of the best cavalry units in the game, in my opinion. Um, but now it's just... Oh, man, just don't get into a melee cav. I think it's better for charging the rear of a unit of a heavy infantry or whatever than going up against some um, melee cav. Um, my mercenaries did pretty well. This unit got 206 kills. That's great. This Javelin Men is cheap, and I think it got charged by Praetorians. That's all right. Um, as for these Agranians, they did their part, um, certainly did, and you know I'm proud of these Hoplites, they did their, they certainly played their part, they uh, held the Legionnaires and um, even did some damage uh, and killed some of the Praetorians. Now let's take a look at his Balearic Slingers, um, he's able to get quite a lot of kills with them, um, not with this unit, that was the unit that I initially um, focus fired on with my Rodians and um, if he hadn't had those units like out in the open and I, I didn't receive the cover from the forest and I think those especially since he had four versus my three um, I would have lost the long range missile department um, I think he should have used the auxiliary infantry to help out his cav quite frankly at least one of them would try to do something like that he did good good job by taking out that one unit of 17 uh, of my Thessal uh, Thessalian Cav out with his um, auxiliary infantry. Um, but there's only so much you can do with that unit. Um, yeah, you only had four Legionnaires. Um, yeah, good. I think overall, good job by my opponent and um, my friend now, um, Norton. I really do appreciate everyone's watching this, and uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, please check out my uh, my my new Twitch channel. Um, I'll be live streaming Rome 2 battles pretty much uh, daily, um, and I really do appreciate everyone who's watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Unrivaled Skyrim, and I'll see you later. Peace out.